All right, guys, I just wanted to share a little project that I've been working on. I call it Fuse. It's a web series. So a little sci-fi, crazy, alien-y, zombie bit of fun that I wanted to build. I wrote a script uh, about a year ago, and it's been hanging around, and I really want to actually work on this. It's, it's a lot of fun. So, uh, yeah, so this, this whole playlist here is basically going to be loaded with my progress videos and I'll be putting one up every Wednesday hopefully so uh, yeah hopefully I can stick by that and stick by this project I'm pretty good at doing that kind of thing usually so we'll see so anyway I just wanted to talk about the environment aspect of the project in this video and this environment that you, uh, that you see here is where uh, the environment is at at the moment uh, it's not quite there yet but it's getting close uh, I got to this point basically by using a kit bash uh, method, basically by building a few uh, tiles in Maya and just rendering them out and then using the, uh, the normal maps in Substance Painter. And then from there, I uh, painted some basic kind of tiles like you see here and then just used them on a very simple kind of geometry environment like uh, like this right here very simple and just start to play with it start to play with the lightings in, uh, the lighting in marmoset and the way that things tile and just kind of getting a feel for the whole real-time renderer stuff because I haven't had a lot of experience with that stuff so I'm kind of learning as well so again here I'm playing with the lighting a little bit more and I was pretty amazed actually at this point at how little time I put into it and how kind of an interesting result. It's not great by any means, but it's definitely interesting the effect that you can get by using like a, a kit, pa uh, kit bash technique just in a, a real time renderer like Marmoset right away. That was, it was pretty cool. Um, again, <clears throat> playing with the lighting a little bit there. Changed the texture entirely. I just dumped a, a totally different texture on and. I was kind of wowed by how different the entire thing looked with just the you know just the one thing being changed. So I carried on, started to build some geometry in Maya and start to apply some of these materials real rough on there at this point just to kind of get a feel. Like I built this section here, like it's it's not the greatest, but I just duped it down to kind of form a kind of a sci-fi hallway, which is the setting that I need for the the script. It's kind of a residential. Uh, kind of living quarters area, like kind of the bottom floor, kind of like the bottom floor of the Titanic kind of thing, but if it was in space, I don't know. Anyway, this looks kind of a bit more uh, like a lab or something, so I changed that up, as you saw in the, the image at the start. But I was playing with the lighting because it is a uh, kind of a run-down environment, and there's going to be like all the lights and the power is going to be out, so there's going to be flashlights down there. So I wanted to kind of get a feel for it at this point, uh, at this point, I dropped in my soldier character that I had, and I just wanted to kind of get a feel for how animation is going to work in Marmoset. And I was really kind of impressed with it, actually. I, I could actually see Marmoset as a a viable renderer for the, the actual final product. I was going to be using like maybe a CPU renderer, a V-Ray or something, but I think I may try to use um, real-time rendering as the final output because uh, it's just so fast it's so so good uh, I started to put a little bit more detail into the textures and added some glass and stuff like that just to uh, kind of push it a little bit further uh, again just playing with different textures that I had different colors different lighting And then I finally got to a point where uh, I tried to kind of make a, a final scene. Like I thought, you know, let, let's just kind of throw it all together and, and see if this real-time rendering thing will, will output something nice and smooth. It's not going to be jittery. It's going to yeah, it's going to be an like a, something that I'm actually going to be you know proud of at the end. So I, I kind of threw something together really quickly using that kind of crappy environment dumped in the, the soldier obviously all the shadings all over the place it's glossy it's it's crazy but 
I just wanted to get that feel just to see if a shot could, you know, be outputted from this and uh, it, it's going to work. And I, I think it will from looking at this and the little time that I put into this. I can I can see I can see something starting to form. So then from there, uh, the next thing I did was I wanted to um, figure out making this place a little bit more um, livable, I guess you could say make it a little bit more realistic because the environment in Marmoset, which is right here, uh, you can see I kind of put in some decals and things like that, but they were all geometry. I just kind of threw some geometry up there, but it wasn't really working. So I wanted to kind of make it a little bit more, uh, like I said, real feeling. So I started to watch some sci-fi movies that I love, you know, alien movies, things like that. And I watched Alien Covenant uh, a little while ago, and I was really kind of skipping through it and trying to look th uh, through all the, the the details in the set and things like that. And I started to um, take some screenshots and start to look at all these decals and things like that. And I started to uh, kind of jot some things down, and I put together a little uh, decal image from looking at those things, and uh, ended up building a little texture like this, which I need to beat up and things like that. But the idea is to kind of start posting these pieces, you know, in various places, things like that. Then this is going to be a pretty uh, gruesome kind of place. There's going to be a lot of blood and you know, things like that down there. So I wanted to kind of make sure that uh, decals and things like that were going to be working for you know, blood prints and things like that. So I want, you know, these are just basically planes that are just sat on top. I just wanted to make sure the transparency was going to work because in my experience in game engines from the past, transparency was never really that great. But I was so blown away with how this, was th you know, this is just, this is going to work just great. So, um, so yeah, I'm really happy with that. Uh, there's a few more shots there. Even worked on the glass. I was, I was really amazed with that. So I'm going to definitely go forward with this. The blood splashes on the floor. I was just doing some quick tests. And these are, uh, you know, there's a little normal bump on this as well, just to see how it would work. And it's not ultra realistic, but I think it's going to work for what I need. So I added some of the, the in-engine depth of field just to see how that would uh, look there. Um, yeah, it, it's, it's definitely a viable option. And this is kind of the lighting I'm probably going to go with. Something more like the emergency lighting. So all that white light stuff is just for showcasing right now. But yeah, that was the decal side of things. And then I, what did I do next? Oh, then I started to try to figure out um, the environment as a whole, like the, the layout. Like, because if I go into the mo uh, this program here, like this is just a, a simple corridor. I just duplicated it. But I needed to kind of come up with kind of the scene layout. So I took the script and I kind of worked out what's, what's actually happening and I, I just made a real basic kind of layout of all the things that are going to happen. And so I kind of needed this kind of a sort of a layout. And then I went back into Maya and I started to build the set that was a little bit more detailed, a little bit more what I wanted. Like I really liked the doors from the before, but I thought the windows were a little bit too big for a living quarters. I think they're a bit exposed. So I think uh, this kind of thing would work. and like probably turn these into blinds or something so people can shut these up and then inside the rooms you've got I don't know maybe bathrooms or whatever you can go in here but I'll figure that out as I go but yeah so I got this geometry working pretty decent and then I uh, start to throw the textures on uh, on these pieces and we get closer to um, what you saw at the start here so Real basic textures, like these uh, ones that were showing you earlier, like real basic stuff is still showing up as pretty good. So with a little bit more love, if I go back to that texture stage, I think I think I'm going to be uh, pretty happy with the result. Um, so this is starting to look a little bit more like I want it to look. Get, get that grungy kind of aliens feel to it, which is one of my favorite movies. So I really want to kind of pay homage to that. And here we are, we're back that uh, the image at the start there. So I just wanted to showcase where I'm at with this. 
and uh, hopefully this has been something that you've enjoyed watching because I'm hoping to post a video like this every week to update you with uh, where I am on the project. Uh, yeah, so subscribe if you want to see more of this stuff and also I have some more tutorials coming out soon too as well. So yeah, take care. See ya.